Good morning, folks. We've got some very interesting articles for you today and the setup for tonight's special video. We're going to hit solar forcing, Jupiter's emissions, a dust mystery in space, the superstorm in Houston, and of course, the last 24 hours on our star. We'll begin there and we find it was a calmer day. No significant flaring. Did take one filament release on the south. Still have several sunspot groups we are monitoring and that large coronal hole on the north is turning in as well. The one considerable eruption you may have spotted in the southern hemisphere was the plasma filament release. Coronagraphs show it sailing further southward and it should miss the Earth. While we've taken only one considerable flare in the last few days, the big sunspot trailing on the south is turning to face Earth. We'll have to monitor that one here in the coming days in case it produces more flaring and CME activity. First up in the articles is a big one. Solar forcing has matched the power of human contribution in the latest models of Arctic warming. This mostly would be direct energetic particle precipitation and geomagnetic induction effects, and while the paper doesn't mention it, we must remember that those are on the rise even more now with Earth's magnetic field weakening in the ongoing pole shift. Up next, what they are calling a new type of radiation emission at Jupiter from the electrons trapped in its magnetic field. Now, while it may be a new observation rather than a completely new phenomenon altogether, we must recall that those same electrons began changing their radio emission years ago caused by a change in Jupiter's magnetic field, and this may be yet another sign of the shift of the giant planet of our system. Very curious one here on strange detections of dust in the upper magnetosphere. They hypothesized various reasons for its existence, but they left one out that's pretty important. How about the increasing dust they have already discovered from the sun all the way out to Pluto, likely from the galactic current sheet? That's probably the best explanation. Now, last but not least, folks, a single severe weather event can never be 100% pegged to a single source, but for all the dozens of papers on solar forcing of extreme weather, and given our warning last week that the solar storm energy would be impacting the weather this week, tonight, we're going to review exactly why this terrible event in Houston was possibly a solar force superstorm. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.